Hello, uh, this is uh, Introduction to Computer Networks course. Uh, this is uh, John Paul Jung. Today um, we will study Chapter 7, Wireless and Mobile Networks, Part 1. The basically, nowadays, uh, more wireless and mobile phones, such as uh, smartphones, tablets, uh, users more than just the uh, wired phone subscribers. Also, uh, more uh, mobile devices popularly uh, used compared with uh, wired connected devices. Especially uh, 4G, LTE, and 5G uh, cellular networks uh, nowadays uh, embracing Internet Protocol stack, including software defined networking SDN. Two important uh, but uh, different uh, challenges. Wireless is uh, a communication over wireless link. On the other hand, the mobility, mobile, handling the mobile user who changes point of attachment to network. Okay, so um, this class uh, we will see uh, wireless networks, okay? Uh, after that, we uh, study uh, mobility, okay, topic. So you can see uh, this figure shows uh, um, in the middle, we have a wired network infrastructure and the access network. So access network usually uh, consists of two things. One is uh, um, the mobile network like uh, 4G LTE, 5G, and other network is uh, uh, Wi-Fi, wireless LAN, okay? Also, a mobile user can move from one coverage, from one base station to another base station. The wireless hosts, such as uh, laptop, smartphone, IoT device, they can uh, run uh, applications. They may be stationary, non-mobile, or mobile. Mobile means moving, okay, like smartphone, laptop. Non-mobile, we can say stationary or fixed devices like uh, refrigerator. Base station, typically, they are connected to a wild network. So base station, um, usually, we can say um, 4G LTE case uh, in node B, 5G case G node B. And the Wi-Fi case, this is called uh, access point AP. Uh, wireless link, typically, wireless link is used to connect mobile devices to base station. Also used as a backbone link. Uh, multiple access uh, protocol coordinate uh, link access among multiple uh, nodes. Uh, various transmission rates and distances and frequency bands are used. Um, this uh, diagram shows um, horizontal access is a range of communications and the vertical access uh, means the speed of bandwidth. Okay? So indoor technology usually um, L to the 11, B, G, Bluetooth are used and outdoor this range uh, we can use uh, usually the 4G LTE, 5G, okay? And the mid uh, range outdoor, long range outdoor case, uh, yeah, we're using uh, 4G LTE and 5G, okay? And then um, the speed of the wireless link bandwidth point of view, you can see Bluetooth, uh, Elta dot 11 G, B, N is more bandwidth like uh, 600 megabps and 11 AC, 11 AX. Uh, let's take a look at uh, elements of uh, a wireless network. Okay, so infrastructure mode case. So we are assuming base uh, stations are connected to wired network infrastructure like uh, Gnode B in uh, 5G case, the, your mobile phone, 
smartphone can move from one coverage of G node B to another G node B. Or if they are access point case, wireless network case, Wi-Fi, uh, from one coverage of access point to another access point coverage. Okay. So uh, this kind of movement, mobility management called the hand up or hand over, mobile device uh, changes the base station providing uh, connection into wild network like uh, the internet. <coughs> uh, on the other hand, uh, add-on mode, no base station uh, like uh, this figure, uh, mobile device, uh, they can uh, play uh, the role of uh, relay, okay? This uh, laptop computer send packet, this one is receive and the relay to this, this and then this one can receive it. But this bottom one is disconnected with the previous uh, add-on network. Add-on network is a temporary network without any infrastructure node. Uh, this table are uh, compare infrastructure network and no infrastructure like uh, add-on network, okay? Um, also, we can uh, clarify the network uh, in terms of uh, single hub or multi-hubs, okay? Single hub is a node communicate with just the next um, base station or next destination. Uh, or multiple case in the middle, uh, we can have a relay node like uh, some router or other some um, forwarding um, devices like relay. Infrastructure and the single um, hub case uh, usually this is Wi-Fi, wireless LAN, and cellular network, and no infrastructure case uh, Bluetooth uh, technology used. Okay, and on the other hand, the multi-hub infrastructure case, uh, uh, it is called a massive network. The multiple uh, stations uh, relay through um, several wireless nodes uh, to connect to larger internet. And no infrastructure multi-hub, it is called the uh, uh, ad hoc network, mobile ad hoc network, or the vehicle ad hoc network consisting of uh, moving vehicles. Let's take a look at uh, wireless, uh, wireless links and the network characteristics. Okay, so the differences from a uh, wireless link. So the wireless link case uh, uh, decreased uh, signal strength. Um, that is, a radio signal uh, attenuates, uh, weakens as it propagates through matter because of uh, uh, air resistance. It is called the pass loss. Interference from other sources. Uh, while it's a network frequency is uh, 2.4, this is uh, um, ISM band industry and the science and medical devices uh, shares this um, um, band like uh, microwave. So Wi-Fi, <coughs> out of the 11 big case, share this uh, bandwidth us that there is interference uh, conflict they are um, frame and a signal with each other it is called uh, interference a multi-pass propagation case the signal is uh, propagate in the bounce the uh, um, so wall indoor or the ground and then multiple signal stream alive at destination different time so it also makes uh, some interference. Okay, it is called the multi-pass propagation. So uh, they are uh, make communication across even a point to point while it's a link much more challenging or difficult. Okay. Uh, let me define SNR signal to uh, noise noise uh, ratio. S stands for signal. And stands for noise. So, SNR is uh, this is a signal numerator, and uh, noise is a denominator. So the this ratio. So signal is uh, the much larger than noise means is good signal. 
So larger SNR, it is easier to extract the signal information from noise. It is a good thing. And also we have a different concept of BR, BR stands for bit error rate, okay? So um, SNR versus a BR trade-off. There is some trade-off relationship. SNR is good, BR is uh, low. This is uh, is bad, this is uh, high, okay? So given a physical layer, increased power for mobile device antenna, increase uh, SNR and decrease um, BR, okay? This is a natural, right? Strong signal, okay, results in low bit error rate, okay? The given SNR, uh, we can choose a physical layer that uh, meets the BR requirement, okay, decoding. Um, so we have a, a multiple uh, encoding scheme, uh, QAM256, this one is uh, um, 8 megabps. On the other hand, this one is uh, the low bandwidth, but is uh, low bit ER, okay, BER. And this one is the BPS key, also this encoding scheme is uh, 1 megabps, but it also lower a uh, BR. So uh, SNR may uh, change uh, with the mobility, which means your mobile device is uh, um, is moving uh, far from the base station. So the signal with each other is going down, okay, dramatically, okay, down. In that case, we need to adapt the physical layer. So even though we choose um, the low bit, Okay, bend with us, but the uh, low BR is better, right? So modulation technique, uh, this kind of select adaptively, okay? Adapted, okay? The wireless link characteristics, uh, uh, we have, uh, okay, some problem, um, such as multiple uh, wireless standards receiver create the additional problem beyond the multiple access, okay? So uh, this is called the uh, hidden terminal problem here. So um, A and C are hidden uh, with each other um, via the B, right? So A transmit the B, C transmit the B, okay? But A and C, they cannot uh, sense their transmission activity because of the, um, the distance. The signal attenuates, uh, eventually uh, A and C cannot uh, understand they cannot sense because of a signal uh, weaken okay so it is called attenuation so eventually uh, this kind of hidden terminal problem okay B and A B and A hear each other B and C hear each other but A and C cannot hear each other means A and C are unaware of their interference at B so they can transmit and then so A transmit B, C transmit B simultaneously, their frames are uh, colliding, okay? So in that case, B cannot receive uh, any yeah, frames, okay? So this figure, right? So A signal is uh, decreases, it is called attenuation. C signal strength also decreases like this, signal attenuation, okay? So a certain threshold, um, B uh, can understand the A's uh, signal, receives the uh, A's uh, frame. Uh, in the same way, um, B can receive uh, C's uh, frame. However, A's um, transmission signal is dramatically attenuated, and then C cannot receive, uh, cannot sense. The C also cannot sense. But the problem is A and C uh, transmit their transmission toward B, the frame are yeah colliding with each other so interference uh, at b so let's uh, move on uh, so code division uh, multiple access uh, it is called uh, cdma uh, so this technology is uh, used to in the past uh, like uh, uh, 3g okay later than 4g lte and 5g so now there's a 5g uh, lte uh, they are using uh, OFDM rather than uh, CDMA. So the unique code um, assigned to each user, like code set uh, partitioning. So all 
users share the same frequency, but uh, each user has their own uh, chipping sequence. It is called the code to encode data. It allows multiple users to coexist and transmit simultaneously with uh, minimal interference. If codes are designed to be an orthogonal, okay? So we can uh, see the definition of orthogonal uh, later on. And encoding um, uh, inner product is used. Original data are uh, multiplied by chipping sequence, okay? And decoding case uh, some the inner product, okay? So the encoded data multiplied Applied by chipping sequence. The same chipping sequence is uh, used in encoding and decoding. So let's take a look at the procedure of uh, CDMA encode and decode. Okay, the sender. Okay, so this is uh, one means uh, one bit. Okay, so in that case, um, senders. Okay, chipping sequence is uh, eight bits, and then this is multiplied, okay? And then the second bit, slot one, uh, sender transmit actually two bits, right? So um, one is actually one, minus one is zero bit, okay? So the each bit um, multiplied by a chip sequence, and then they um, uh, transmit after this uh, multiplication, okay? So D is a bit, I is a bit, the position and the CM is a chip uh, ping sequence okay and then in the air uh, we have uh, this kind of signal right so one 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 times one one times one one times one one times minus one is uh, minus one right but uh, you can see slot one is uh, transmit the second bit case uh, uh, minus one one is uh, minus one right <coughs> three uh, bits minus one but this one is a minus one minus one, is a one right? So we can uh, have this result, okay? So this signal, okay, propagate uh, in the air, and the receiver receive this bit, okay, like this, okay? So in order of library, and then uh, we um, apply chip sequence, the same sequence. So we are assuming sender uh, receiver case, the senders chip sequence, uh, this one is uh, negotiate with the uh, receiver. So receiver decode using uh, sender the chipping sequence, okay? So, and then uh, they uh, multiply, okay? So you can see uh, multiply the one, one, one is actually, this is uh, the eight ones, okay? So, and then M is actually uh, length of uh, uh, chipping sequence, eight, eight right? So this is actually 8 divided 8 is 1. On the other hand, this is a minus 1. It's a minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1. Eventually, we have 8 minus 1, right? So minus 8 divided by the, uh, 8 is minus 1. So eventually, we can successfully decode um, 1 bit and 0 bit, okay? But uh, uh, this is not uh, really useful yet. Okay, let's uh, consider multiple senders, and then we can see the power of uh, CDMA. So sender one, sender two. Okay, so we are assuming uh, sender one's uh, chipping uh, sequence is uh, one 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 minus one one minus one minus one minus one. On the other hand, uh, sender two's uh, chipping sequence different. Okay, one minus one 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 minus one one one. So they are also gonna so. Um, According to uh, coding theory, so we can um, make different uh, orthogonal chipping sequence. So using this kind of orthogonality, and then uh, let's see. So we can uh, decode separately. So sender one, sender two, right? So we perform the same operation, okay? Multiplication of the bit and the chipping sequence. And then in the air, we can sum up. So you can see this one is uh, actually uh, minus uh, one 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 right this bit, and this one is uh, one minus one right, and then so we can uh, sum sum up okay, 
and then uh the first bit let's take a look so one 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 yeah this is actually cancel out minus right so this is eventually firstly uh you can see two second is zero right and then third one with a one one right sum is a two right and then first one is minus one one right cancelled right and then um pips one is one one is actually two six one is minus one minus one is minus two and sevens minus one one zero minus eight uh, minus one one is zero right we have uh, this one and second bit case also similarly uh okay one minus one is minus one right and the plus one plus one this is cancelled zero second bit case minus one one case minus one and this is one minus one minus two so similarly we have uh, this result and uh, this bit uh, propagate uh, over the air and uh, receiver so receiver case okay um, the mixed signal case sender one okay bit uh, decoded by uh, receiver one in that case sender's shipping sequence is applied this one right so this shipping sequence this shipping the same right and then multiply this and then uh, 2 1 right and then 2 this is 0 1 so we can sum uh, this number eventually uh, we have uh, the number okay uh, calculate and then divide by the length m uh, we can get uh, 1 okay and similarly we uh, multiply this one divided by 8 is uh, minus 1 so we can get original um, bit stream senders the first bit is one second bit is zero bit right we can get uh, exactly the same sequence okay so using the same code as the sender one receiver one recovers the sender one's original data from some the channel data because of uh, uh, orthogonal code okay this is uh, the principle of cdma Okay, uh, let's move on. Uh, Wi-Fi, the eight eleven uh, wireless lens. So um, this table shows uh, uh, various eight uh, eleven Wi-Fi wireless LAN. Okay, the technologies, standards, and the year, max data rate, and the range and the frequency. Okay, so nowadays we are using popularly eight eleven N standardized uh, 2009 maximum data rate is uh, 600 uh, megabps the communication range is uh, 70 and frequency 2 right 2.4 gigahertz or 5 uh, gigahertz okay and also you can see uh, wi-fi 6 case you can see um, the max data is uh, 14 gigabps range is uh, uh, the same with uh, uh, 11n and the uh, frequency domain uh, range of the same okay so all use uh, csmaca uh, carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance uh, for multiple access and have a base station and ad hoc network versions after the 11 uh, LAN architecture here so you can see uh, the access network uh, one access uh, point in charge of this um, basic service set so this uh, wireless coverage is called the basic service set one and this is a base service set uh, two okay basic server uh, service set so based the station access point right so they are connected to a switch or router and then eventually they are connected to uh, the internet so um basic services set bsss so you're using wi-fi so in that case you select uh, ssid right so ssid means um service set id so or former name is uh, basic services set if we make uh, the extended one in that case uh, it is es uh id okay essi so extended the basic uh, extended the service set so um, spectrum uh, is divided into channels 
have different frequencies. So access point administrator choose uh, frequencies from uh, multiple like 11 uh, uh, channels, right? So we can uh, select uh, channel, um, not overlaying, uh, overlapping with uh, the neighboring access point, okay? Avoid interference, okay? And the arriving host here, this access point uh, okay, providing a Wi-Fi service and then it must associate with an access point. Um, association includes uh, channel scanning and listening for become framing from um, access point, uh, having access points SSID, service set ID, and the MAC address, the access point MAC address, and then select um, one AP from multiple neighboring um, APs and then um, to assert with, okay? And then uh, may perform authentication for security. So refer to chapter eight for security chapter. Um, after that, uh, learn DHSP dynamic host configuration protocol to get IP address in access point subnet. Uh, we have uh, two kinds of uh, um, scanning. The first one is uh, the passive uh, scanning. So to uh, okay access point here to uh, B SSS uh, basic service set another basic service set. Okay, and passive uh, scanning case. Okay, beacon a uh, frame sent by or from access point, and then. So uh, this guy select the strongest um, receive the signal AP, and then it uh, perform um, association request prime sent. So so host one, okay, to selected AP among two access points, and then uh, one of access point respond, okay, with the association uh, response prime sent from the selected AP to the mobile laptop H1. Uh, second the scanning called the active active case uh, H1 actively uh, send uh, okay probe yeah request okay trigger um, the beacon message immediately. So firstly uh, H1 send the probe request okay. And then um, this is broadcasted, okay? And then a probe response uh, prime uh, sent from the APs, okay? And then uh, select uh, one of them, and then uh, H1 send uh, association request to the selected AP, and then selected AP reply with association response uh, prime. Okay. So um, after the um, eleven uh, multiple access, so avoid the collisions. Okay, more than two nodes transmit frame at the same time. Collision happen. Okay, so that's why uh, after eleven CSMA carrier sends multiple access case. Uh, usually, they sense before transmit. Okay, and then uh, they don't collide with the detected ongoing transmission by another. Okay, this is uh, actually the wild network, CSMA CD, okay? CSMA CD with the uh, collision detection CD. Uh, on the other hand, the uh, wireless uh, case, uh, CSMA, just the original um, CSMA CD cannot use, right? So that this is one is Wi-Fi, right? Wireless LAN case, uh, no, no collision detection because of uh, the the air condition, okay? So it is uh, um, difficult to sense collisions, a high transmitting signal, the weak received signal due to a uh, fading of a signal. It is not impossible, but practically it is very difficult also costly to make uh, the hardware. So it cannot uh, sense all collision in any uh, case.
because of a hidden terminal and the fading. So the goal is we want to avoid collisions. Um, after 11 case, it is called CSMA with collision avoidance. It is called CSMA CA. Uh, let me first uh, uh, define uh, terms. Okay. Okay. So here, sender uh, waiting uh, with a certain short time DIFS. The interval and the transmit data and receiver is received. Okay. So uh, what is a DIFS? Okay. So in order to understand the DIFS, we need to understand these terms. Okay. So the we have. A actually two uh, functions, two modes. One is uh, uh, DCF, distributed coordination function for ad hoc mode. Secondly, uh, PCF stands for point coordination function. It is uh, uh, called infrastructure mode. We uh, compared the previous previously, right? And then uh, DIFS, okay, DIFS is, uh, okay, so this add-on mode case, uh, before sending um, uh, frame, uh, DCF uh, inter frame space, uh, this uh, interval is a, a kind of waiting time used to avoid unnecessary collision, okay? And then um, we have another in some inter frame space it is uh, called uh, uh, SIFS uh, short inter frame space so this is uh, uh, shorter than the DIFS so re report to uh, both uh, the Wikipedia pages and the uh, slow time uh, we can define so from 9 to 50 microsecond okay so we okay this one is uh, the range is this one okay so the relationship between DIFS and uh, SIFS, DIFS uh, is equal to SIFS plus the two times slow time. Okay, so you can see sender before to, uh, frame uh, DIFS, the this okay waiting time used before transmission. Okay, and then um, receiver side case. Uh, SIFS time shorter than this one, right? And then acknowledge, okay, uh, frame is delivered to a sender, and then uh, sender can confirm uh, each uh, transmission successfully, okay, received by receiver after receiving this uh, acknowledgement frame. So uh, let's take a look uh, more detailed procedure. So at the eleven sender case. Okay, if the sense channel either for DIFS, okay, and then transmit entire frame, no collision detection, right? And then if channel busy, then uh, start the random back of time, random uh, waiting time, okay? And the timer count down, get okay, back of timer counts down while channel the either and transmission when the timer expires okay if uh, no acknowledge uh, increase uh, random back up okay interval and repeat two okay so which means um, actually um, transmit timer and then um, transmit okay and then if uh, no acknowledgement case uh, uh, increases uh, back of time and then try again okay and here the out of the 11 receiver case uh, receiver frame a little bit okay and then run acknowledge transmit acknowledge after um, short inter frame space uh, SFIS right so we can s so right this uh, right short uh, in the frame space okay and then return acknowledge after this one the acknowledge needed due to okay hidden terminal problem okay so we saw this procedure right transmit and then 
receiver transmits acknowledge. Okay. So avoiding on collisions, the idea uh, sender reserves channel. Okay, use for data transmission using small reservation packets. Okay, so uh, we can uh, see uh, RTS request to send, CTS clear to send exchange. RTS CTS exchange is used explicitly reserve channel. So sender first transmit a small request to send artist packet to uh, base station using uh, CSMA and then RTSs may still collide with each other multiple uh, senders transmit simultaneously okay but short collision case uh, the impact of the collision is small but without the uh, RTSs just a long uh, data frame transmitted uh, simultaneously and then uh, collision impact is uh, uh, bigger than the RTS is a small transmission collision right so and then um, base station received uh, RTS successfully uh, transmit um, clear to send using broadcast okay in response to RTS uh, CTS uh, heard by all those and they understand that some sender transmit the data frame uh, they have to defer uh, transmission so waiting for transmission completion of the reservation sender so uh, let's take a look um, college avoidance using RTS and the CTS exchange so we have uh, um, node A, node B in the middle access point base station here, right? So they uh, transmit RTS A, RTS B simultaneously, and the reservation collision happens. But when the waiting time, node A transmit RTS, and then AP transmit the broadcast, right? Broadcast means the same frame propagate uh, omnidirectional node A node B can receive it and then node A case receive the CTS and then it can transmit however node B case um, based on uh, CTS uh, includes some um, transmission time of uh, node A uh, defer its transmission according to the notified the transmission of uh, node A and then uh, node A transmit data A. So this is a virtual vector, vector. Okay. So virtual vector um, reserve the transmission. Okay, of uh, node A. Okay. And then uh, AP respond the transmission success uh, with the acknowledgement frame. Okay. Okay, from now on, uh, we will see um, after that 11 frame especially addressing. So the frame control duration, it has uh, four kinds of addresses. And then uh, sequence control, and then payload of data actually. So it includes the uh, IP datagram, and this is uh, four bytes, means 32 CRC cyclic redundancy check a code to check a bit error so uh, four address the first uh, address one a mac address of wireless host or ap to receive this frame this destination okay address uh, address two this is a source address mac address of wireless host or uh, ap okay uh, transmitting this frame okay and then uh, address 3 uh, this one is uh, um, MAC address of a router interface remember AP is uh, kind of a uh, layer to L2 switch okay so it is connected to L3 router so router uh, interface uh, IP addresses and MAC address okay is uh, used here and then uh, address 4 is used only add mode so if we uh, send 
multi hub adang network so original um, source uh, mac address is uh, included by this one okay so you can refer to this one because relay node case they are uh, source node okay using this one okay so this one is uh, per hop so relay node set their mac address here but original node or uh, mac address is uh, set here okay so using this um, example uh, let's take a look at the ucz of um, three addresses okay so <coughs> infrastructure mode right so h1 is a source and then ap is a destination and then the connected to router this interface right so r1 this interface mac address is uh, set here address 3 okay and then on uh, this um, after 11 frame uh, convert into um, L2.3 is net frame okay so converted and then the the layer to frame is converted also you can see um, h1 MAC address here from here to here and then this is Mac is okay uh, actually uh, louder so because uh, AP and uh, uh, R1 is connected to um, okay each other using wired line okay so in that case the this okay MAC address is a source and the destination is transmitted here not AP is the MAC address okay so okay the opposite direction case okay so R1 MAC address uh, H1 MAC address here and then so the at the 11 frame case you can see source is uh, AP MAC destination is uh, H1 MAC and this one is uh, the router is uh, MAC address here so okay the opposite okay so uh, also uh, Duration is uh, duration of uh, reserved frame uh, transmit time. This is a virtual vector time. Okay, and then uh, we saw the scenario, right? So node A, AP, node B, right? So AP reserved the, the uh, air using uh, RTCTS. So that at that time, so this duration is uh, used to reserve the time, and the frame sequence for reliable data transfer uh, per. Also, frame control case, we have uh, these kinds uh, of uh, information, okay? Uh, protocol okay, version, this one. Uh, so this time, subtype, this uh, to AP, from AP, more of plague, okay? And then power management, uh, etc. okay? So, okay so in that case you can see this is a we can say byte unit okay byte six bytes mac address this is two bytes and then uh, this unit is uh, the bit because this is uh two byte means a 16 bit okay so in that case uh, this was a uh, eight bit and one two three four five six actually this is a uh, four four eight right so this uh, unit is bit So, two-bit uh, combination is a four, four kinds of combination. So, um, specify RTS, CTS, acknowledgement, and the data frame. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, mobility handover within the same subnet. So, um, AP. Uh, remember, this is uh, um, the switch, right? L2 layer. And this is router, right? So the same uh, subnet in terms of uh, IP. So moving um, the the actually this is a BSS uh, basic service set BSS one to BSS two, right? So in that case, um, H one uh, this one is uh, uh, we can say some node, right? Is uh, moving from here to here, right? So uh, IP address is the same using DHCP, but um, the connectivity, the later two case, the association 
is uh, okay changed okay so h1 uh, remain in the same ip subnet ip address can remain the same and switch which ap is associated with the h1 okay so uh, self learning uh, chapter 6 so layer link layer uh, switch will see frame from h1 and remember which switch port can be used to reach h1 so self learning uh, we can learn okay and then um, let's take a look advanced uh, capabilities uh, late adaptation okay so uh, we previously saw um, mobile load moving uh, is uh, uh, far from base station signal to uh, ratio SNR uh, decreases right in that case the BR will be increased right so in that case uh, we somehow select some other um, physical layer encoding to um, reduce okay BR okay even though some bandwidth is uh, sacrificed okay so base station mobile dynamically change transmission rate um, physical layer modulation technique okay like uh, uh, those uh, thing uh, QAM256 QAM16 uh, okay um, BPSK K, okay so as the mobile node moves uh, SNR various okay so you can see uh, SNR decreases right so SNR decreases decreases okay PR is uh, significantly increases okay because of uh, uh, node move away from um, base station SNR decreases right and then so PR becomes too high right so in that case uh, switch to lower transmission rate but with uh, lower PR so in that case here right uh, we can switch to other yeah QAM16 case BR here right signal strength right so if this range um, you can see this previous QAM256 case BR is uh, this range right but if we change this one BR significantly down but also moving away from uh, base station still SNR decreases uh, BR increase in that case uh, we can also change the uh, um, physical uh, modulation okay technology okay so we have another um, uh, feature is called the power management so node to AP uh, I am going to sleep until next become frame AP nodes not to transmit frame to this node because this node is sleep okay and then uh, after this sleeping time node wakes up uh, before next uh, beacon frame okay and then it can receive the frame so beacon frame consists the list of mobiles with the AP2 mobile frame waiting to be sent and then a mobile uh, understand and then okay receive this beacon message and then uh, waiting to receive this frame otherwise there is an, uh, no its uh, ID mobile it understand okay I don't have anything to receive from AP so node will stay awake if AP to uh, mobile frame are sent okay otherwise it sleep again until next beacon frame to save its uh, energy so next topic is a personal area network pan so previous um, uh, Wi-Fi okay this is uh, just a kind of uh, uh, we can see the scale the number of uh, okay nodes connection lanes uh, is a medium but personal is a kind of uh, the smaller so usually Bluetooth technology used right so you can see uh, using um, if you are using a smartphone uh, if you are using uh, wireless, you know, the you know headset, headset or earphone, the you know. So in that case, uh, uh, you can uh, use Bluetooth technology, right? So less than uh, 10 meter diameter 
10 meters diameter uh, replacement for cable okay wireless mouse mo uh, wireless keyboard uh, wireless uh, headset okay headphone so the adag network is used okay because there is no infrastructure between two devices so your smartphone and your the mouse or keyboard or headset okay so 2.4 2.5 ism industry science uh, medical uh, this band radio band is used up to 3 megabps speed so the bluetooth case uh, master or slave okay or master client so master forwards the client's grant a request for client uh, transmission so master and the multiple clients okay and then uh, the p is uh, okay parked a uh, kind of sleeping inactive to save energy okay and uh, also uh, Bluetooth case uh, using uh, TDM time division multiplexing uh, 625 uh, microsecond okay this uh, uh, slot and the uh, FDM frequency domain uh, uh, frequency division multiplexing sender uses uh, uh, 79 frequency channels in known uh, pseudo uh, random order okay it is called uh, um, frequency hopping so slot to slot so spread the um, spectrum okay is used so other devices uh, equipment uh, uh, not in this pico net so bluetooth device is uh, construct this add-on add network it is called called uh, pico net uh, only in the peer in some slots okay so using this kind of uh, pseudo random order based uh, frequency hopping okay randomly the frequency uh, is uh, used okay to avoid the uh, collision and the parked uh, mode case uh, client can go to sleep it is called the park and uh, wake up to uh, preserve uh, save battery energy and the uh, bootstrapping uh, nose uh, self assemble plug and play into Piconet. Okay, so join to this. Uh, okay, Piconet. Okay, so this is the first part of uh, um, wireless and the mobile network. Okay, so next topic uh, uh, include um, 4G, LTE, and 5G. After that, we will see. Uh, mobile network thank you for your attention